Big Mix 104 K Big. We're the station you hear everywhere. The Beach Boys and still cruising. Gloria Loring, Carl Anderson before that with friends and lovers. Good morning. It's Bill Meyer, Sylvia Amarito here at 918. In the studio with us, Bonnie Raitt. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning to you. What a pleasure to have you in the studios here at K Big. It's nice to be here. You know, Rolling Stone says it's Bonnie Raitt's time. After nine albums, the veteran rocker hits her stride with Nick of Time. And it is about time, and it, it's great to, to hear you on the radio. Boy. Hey, I, I think I feel it's great in my hometown to get this kind of response, too. So. Uh, That's right. You've been quite a year. You grew up in Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, well, uh-huh. I don't know how grown up I am. I'm still <laughs> Join the club, huh? at different sizes, let's say that. Up on Mulholland Drive. Yeah. Dad gave you a guitar when you were, what, nine years old? Yep. Yep. He said, get a job, <laughs> learn this in case... You don't do well in school, and look what happened. Uh huh. Now your dad is a, quite a famous man in his own right. Yeah, still out on tour. As a matter of fact, he's uh, his name is John Raiden. He was the original leading man in Carousel and mm-hmm. Pajama Game, and toured for years in shows like Oklahoma. Now he's still at seventy-two, singing better than ever, and out in South Pacific, he'll be doing Zorba this uh, spring Boy, in Los Angeles. Busy man. Gotta follow in dad's footsteps. I know. You got some staying power, Bonnie. No uh, doubt about it. Let's hope so. Now, right now, with this uh, new single out, I mean, you must be getting a lot of attention from from radio, from the press, and from fans, huh? Yeah, this has been an amazing six months actually, because when starting when I had the good uh, fortune to get Dennis Quaid to appear as my boyfriend in my video, which <laughs> because was he was really tall, good move. I heard. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Well, he looked kind of tall to me. Um, and, you know, Think Call Love did really well, and, and uh, Nick of Time seems to have touched a lot of mm-hmm. hearts, especially with women, uh, you know, to the, the whole issue, whether to have a kid or not, I guess. Is kind uh-huh. of, you know, it's kind of a little poignant in my life. So uh, the response, especially since I wrote the tune, has been really heartwarming but now, for me. I think every single song on Nick of Time is fantastic i mean sylvia my pal <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I i got the cd then i really bugged dave vertery our music director and said give me the cassette i need it in my car because i'm not home all the time so i me i hear too, song huh? after song after song yeah yeah Thanks. me too but i mean great absolutely fantastic mix of music from you well, thank it. you so much and, and because so many women are uh have little kids that they sit in car seats and stuff. Now I get all these little kids coming up to ask me to play that porcupine song. <laughs> and I can just see it. It's like getting the next generation. In. Uh-huh. Good. Let's start them young, huh? Now, you wrote two two songs on this particular album. Mm-hmm. Who are some of the other songwriters that you used? Well, two of my favorite songs on the record, Love Letter and Have a Heart, are written by my friend Bonnie Hayes, who's great San Francisco writer, who will hopefully now get another deal <laughs> because mm-hmm. my record was doing well. Uh, she's uh, the sister of Chris Hayes, who writes and plays guitar for Huey Lewis's band. Mm-hmm. And uh, those are two of my favorites. There's a David and Julie Lasley song called I Ain't Gonna Let You Break My Heart Again. Um, oh, Jerry local Williams, guy. a couple of songs of his. Local guy, Michael Ruff. Yeah, oh, Michael Ruff, yeah. yes. Cry on My Shoulders. Another gift to women, yeah. Well, yeah, tell me about it. Woo! Yeah, he's going to be singing at my place this weekend. As I just Great. sat in with him on Monday night. He does a lot of shows at my place, doesn't he? Yeah, I wish he'd do some at my place personally. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the word is out. It'll uh, get back to him, no doubt. Just down. check out how tall he is. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, Bonnie, we'll be talking with you again in just a couple of seconds. And we'll be hearing Nick of Time, Love Letter, Have a Heart. Ooh, we can't wait. My favorite. I see you built a posh new barn for your chickens, Floyd. Yeah, happy chickens or tasty chickens. Gee, piped in music. They're big on our chicken masseuse. Baker Square chicken entrees for lunch or dinner. Come for the food, stay for the pie. For a limited time, try their chicken dinner and pie specials from $7.99 or sandwich and pie specials from $6.99 at Baker Square. So look for the Woolmark label when you shop. Bottom line, wool makes life easier. Good morning. It's 924 at K-Big. Bill and Sylvia with our special in-studio guest, Bonnie Raitt. Ten albums for you now. And, boy, you know, you're finally getting this incredible recognition. And I, I bet it's just a, a great feeling, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I have a lot of songwriters and types of music that I really care about. And so it always really was painful to me when I had to explain to someone who had given up one of their songs. You know, and then I didn't get any airplay on it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, but this is a, a rough business and there's a tremendous amount of competition a lot more acts than when i started out in the 1800s <laughs> <laughs> the 1800s <laughs> and she's got a wonderful sense of humor uh, too you've been involved in quite a few different organizations as far as helping them ra- raise funds and even uh people's awareness of of groups you were involved in the video of sun city the anti-apartheid record written uh-huh. by steve zant um you went to moscow yeah back in 1987 uh, what else have you been involved with? Well, I, uh, well, I've been involved with a lot of different peace and justice organizations mm-hmm. since I was a kid because we were raised Quaker, which is a pacifist 
outlook on life. And uh, to me, the first time I heard music was when, uh, I mean, not any music, but the kind of music that made me want to play the guitar was Joan Baez and Bob Dylan and mm. the whole civil rights march and peace marches that were going on in the early 60s. That was protest music and folk songs, and that's why I was a little firebrand back then. You moved from um, L.A. and... Uh, Spent just some of your college years on the uh, the east side of the Cambridge, U.S. Cambridge, Massachusetts. Uh, how yeah. much of a of, of an influence do you think that type of environment had on Bonnie Raitt today? Because you were really involved in a lot of, you know, there were the, the um, clubs where acoustic material was really well accepted as far as the folk scene. Yeah, well, there was a good folk scene here in Los Angeles at the Ash Grove and the Troubadour also, but I wasn't old enough to participate in it. So, I uh, we moved back east, and although I spent all my summers back at a camp where there was a lot of folk music going on it was kind of a rage in the 60s especially if you were from the east coast and i for some reason wanted to be a beatnik and then when i grew up and looked in the mirror and realized i was never going to look like that I just, <laughs> well i better better develop a sense of humor about it manergy crab's one of your personal heroes really? right <laughs> but um yeah i mean i was an, always been involved with the anti-nuclear movement and was one of the organizers of the no nukes concerts mm -hmm. back 10 years ago hard to believe it was that long is, ago. is that where you tied in with jackson brown or did you meet him before oh we've known each other for 20 years and both before we had records out so mm -hmm. uh I've done so many of his tunes on my records, it's like a sa song sampler. <laughs> Let's play Nick of Time and tell us a little bit about this song and how it came to be. Well, Nick of Time is one of the few songs, I don't write that often, and this one, uh, for this record, I really wanted to come up with something that was a different topic than the same, you know, if you don't get it together, you can get out of here, one of those little attitude tune-ups that I usually mm -hmm. sing about. And uh, I just took myself out of the situation I was in and went away in a, you know, on a kind of a retreat and basically just uh, wrote a song out of literally what was happening to a friend of mine who, uh, which, who was trying to decide whether to have a child and she really wanted one and this guy really didn't want to have kids yet so mm -hmm. I thought that was a pretty timely thing to be writing about and the rest of the song just about running out of time and about being older and accepting the fact that you're you know, getting on and you better take stock of your life or else you're going to waste it. Kind here's of a coming of age, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well here's Nick of Time, Bonnie Raitt on k -Pig. Hey there, Sylvia Amarito here. That's the Bonnie Raid interview. Wasn't Bonnie's honesty and down-to-earth personality awesome? She was a really nice lady, and she definitely is a talented artist. Well, listen, like, subscribe, and tap that bell so you'll know when we upload more of these very cool interviews from my, my days at KBIG 104, and I have a few from KNAC, so those will be great to hear as well. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll catch you on the flip side. See ya!